Good morning, everybody. Today, we're bringing our Bible study to your phone. Why do we wear all this stuff? Well, one reason is to be visible and to stand out for protection. What do we do to protect our hearts? We also need to get dressed with God's PPE, God's personal protective equipment. Every day, we're attacked by the evil one with images on television, social media, our phones, and this can leave us really vulnerable to sin of all kinds. We need a, a divine hedge of protection to protect ourselves and our minds. The Bible compares the devil to a lion seeking to steal, kill, kill, and destroy our families and our minds. But Romans 8, 6 says that a mindset on the flesh leads to death, but a mindset on God leads to peace. We also need to put on the full armor of protection, full armor of God, so we can stand against the schemes of the devil. Because we know that in Ephesians 6, 10, it says our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, and against the worldly forces of this present darkness, against the spiritual wickedness. And so today, we're talking about protection. I pray that our emotional physical and spiritual protection would be over everyone at Lock Buildings and our families and our kids and grandkids. We're praying that God would keep evil far away from them and help our kids to learn to trust God and to seek refuge and strength in Him. And that He would guard their minds and our minds from harmful instruction at school, discerning them and helping them to know truth. So Lord, we pray that our kids and our grandkids will develop an eternal perspective and lean into Jesus. And we pray that, that they will be set free, that their minds would be focused on things above, not things that are going on here in the world, but things that are above, things that are rooted and grounded in love. In Jesus' name. Don't forget, today, drink lots of this, because you're going to need it. Thanks, God bless, have a great weekend.